are very much locally orientated and for the community we like to support various activities, charities, um, homeless for example, there's some uh, charities that are based for homeless people, we'll often supply ice cream. Even though it's Christmas time, we'll still supply them ice cream so they have their own for Christmas period. And uh, we also look after uh, many little charities in our own, own supporting way, especially local charities. Um, there are several that don't actually buy ice cream. Rosses have been involved with uh, Fair Havens and our Children's Hospice Little Havens for many, many years. Uh, and a lot of what they do is, it's not necessarily stuff that you'll have seen in the papers. It's far more integral to, to what we do here, which is, is uh, making every day count for people when they're approaching the end of their lives. Uh, I suppose the best examples I can give are, there's the Christmas pudding flavour ice cream, which Ross has produced for us for the, the children and the families at Little Haven. So at every Christmas meal that we served, we could serve up some Rossy ice cream. It's partly about the joy of the, the flavour, but it's also that knowledge that those parents had, that there were people out there in the community thinking about them at times when things were quite hard. We support the community in another big way with our uh, roadshows, our school roadshows. Um, we often get uh, many requests for, could we bring a school or a class around the factory? So what we've done, instead of trying to show 12 children, a class of 12, say, for example, around the factory, which is a very difficult uh, task, we have to suit and boot them all in cl protective clothing and 12 children around a factory, it's a working factory, there's a lot of water, there's a lot of mechanical equipment, so that is a num maximum number. So we devised an idea to take what we do here to a school and we uh, look after the schools with a presentation and an educational roadshow where we'll educate the children with a PowerPoint presentation showing them how we make ice cream, all about Rossi ice cream products, all about, depending on the age group, all about our marketing products and how we do marketing. The educational point of view is, is excellent because we get the kids involved. Um, it's amazing when you mention the word ice cream how much it grabs the children's attention. And number three is... <laughs> children love ice cream. Um, and so they're very keen to find out about the history and of, of course how it's made, that's the exciting part. And of course we include such things as bringing in Rossi Bear, uh, so it's fun as well and learning is fun and, and that's basically the principles we've been working on with the road shows. Final question, and you can all answer this all in one go. Who makes the best ice cream in Essex? The South End Borough Council uh, have events where they are promoting leisure and tourism. We do get cho chosen and are asked if we would be able to support them, and we do on many occasions. And we're more than happy to be chosen and offer our support. Not only are they an iconic brand, but they are totally involved with the local community, always supporting charity events, and as South End bids to become the alternative city of culture, Rossi's were at the heart of our branding. Whether it's giving away free ice cream or supporting the mayor at the carnival, uh, it's a really positive thing, not just for the community, but also for uh, Rossi's and, and Southend much more generally. And it's great particularly to see businesses thriving, employing people, presenting a strong brand for Southend and directly doing so much for the community. We like to be environmentally friendly. We'll source local ingredients where possible, so we have a, a lower carbon footprint. We maintain our deliveries on a route. Even our vegetable fat that we use in our ice cream manufacturing is a sustainable palm oil, so it protects the palm trees. And we're very keen to have various policies in place that we can work with a cleaner footprint as possible within a greener environment. I think it's easy to forget that companies are made up from the community. They employ people, they work here, they live here, they are part of, of who we are. Helping charities and being out there involved in the community is an essential part for a business because it makes it worthwhile, it's what we're all here for. We can all do a job, but if you actually want to create and build a business for the future, you need to be part of the community in which you belong.